The pontiff's visit is hugely significant for Christians and Catholics in Iraq. And we can speak to Archbishop Nizar Siman, who's the pontiff, will be visiting your church, Archbishop, the Church of the Immaculate Conception in northern Iraq, in Karakash. Before we talk about that, just explain to us the significance, what this means, this visit to Syriac Catholics in Iraq. Uh, this visit, it uh, brings hope not just for the Syriac community, but for the all Christian of Iraq and for all Iraqi people, really. So it's sign of hope. It's a call for us as a Christian to stay in this land, to live in this land and to share the life with other people. It means that the death cannot be stronger than life. So it's a call for life as is assurance for the better future for the Christians and for the entire Iraqi population. Well, the Iraqi Christian population has been dispersed across the world given the difficulties and the suffering that the community had under uh, Islamic State occupation. Your parish very much in Karakosh was subject to extreme difficulties. You were here in London. You've since returned to Karakosh. Talk us through a little bit how you rebuild your parish. Uh, the church where, where I was ordained, the Immaculate, the, the biggest church in this area, unfortunately was destroyed, burned by ISIS. But since the people, they went back to Karakosh and they start, first of all, building the houses. And then lately we start rest restoring this church. Uh, fortunately, now this church looks like bright, welcoming and waiting for Pope Francis to enter, to be the first person to enter in that church after being restored. And this is a symbol of return to the normality. And really, it's encouraged Christians when they saw their churches is brilliant like this, encourage them to practice their faith and to stay in this land. So I assure you, now it looks like bright. Many thanks to many NGO, Christian NGO from different parts of the world that could help us to rebuild, not just this church, but also our houses, our schools, our hospitals, our streets, and all the infrastructure. We are building our city step by step because we want to stay here and we, we are thinking about the future. We are sons and daughters of the future and we are going to work for it with all Iraqi people, sure. And how do you prepare for such a visit? How have you organized for it? And of course, we, we've got to you know, mention the COVID restrictions as well, which complicates everything. First of all, we are talking all the security measure regarding the, uh, the COVID by obliging the people to put the mask and the uh, social distance. It's not easy to keep them because they are very happy to welcome Holy Father. They want to be close as much as they, as they can with the Holy Father. As you know, they think it's a big blessing for them. And indeed, it is a blessing for them. So, but we are trying to do our best uh, in Karakosh and also in Erbil, because now I am responsible on preparing uh, the, the, the big mass in, in the stadium of, of Erbil. It will be, we wait, we, we are expecting 10,000 people to attend this mass so we are doing everything possible we are uh, it's more than one month we are preparing for this event cooperating with the uh, uh, with the local governments uh, in Karakosh, in mosul and here in uh, in erbil and nakawa so we, we are proud really to have holy father between us uh, it's time of feast uh, and everyone is living this feast uh, full of joy full of happiness and full of hope. So we welcome our Holy Father. He is a pilgrimage between us. He came to visit us, to show his love and to express his love for the Christians of Iraq to say, I'm here, I'm with you. I know uh, what happened to you. I know how much you suffered. 
But look, I am with you, I'm close to you, and I will be, I will be always with you. So courage, go ahead, build with other Iraqi people the future. You are worthy and all Iraqi people for a better future. Work for it, put the foundation for it, I will be with you. Archbishop Nizar Siman, it's been wonderful to speak to you. Thank you so much and best of luck with that uh, immense visit. Thank you so much for your time. Many thanks.